All right, bro, buddy, listen to me, listen to me. Mm. Uh, so, I'm James IZ, and I'm back yet with another video. So, I made a video on, like, the like the uh, first video that I made about these two dips did uh, pretty good so i'm just gonna continue it on i think like at this point they're, uh, they're just milking it like if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the uh, cheesecake factory lady like this uh, entitled woman who was complaining about this dude that uh, took her to a cheesecake factory yeah so it's basically stupid and uh, it went trending and viral and it went crazy so this dude who i, I guess is running another a podcast type of thing or something you know it's basically just another podcast basically so like this guy clearly paid these two just to be here and uh this is lame and they're just milking it at this point this happened like what two weeks ago a week ago if this happened like about like a week ago uh, I'm not even gonna do the Bobby Shmurda meme, go fuck. But like, just from the looks of this, it's just like, dude, you, you can just, uh, look at the dynamic. Okay, hold on, let me just look at this. See, look, I was complaining about this, like, in, in like, the uh, first video. Like, this dude is, just based off his body language right here, he's very submissive and is a... Beta! Beta! You know what I'm saying? Like, clearly she's the dominant one here. Like, bro, why are you still doing it? Like, I mean, like, I, clearly he must have gotten paid, right? Uh, hopefully you got paid to do this right because like if like he's doing this shit for free then burn in hell because i like you would just never ever catch me do some shit like this ever in my life now here we are a few weeks later mm -hmm. i'm sure you've had some time to think about what you guys discussed in the car i'm sure you've had some time to think about it um, yeah. before i ask you any questions have you guys had a second date mm, no 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 sec of course they haven't good good dates Okay, okay. Uh, so I'll start with you, Jay. Mm. What, what has dating been like for you since that video went viral? Uh, well, uh, since I was on the video, kind of unexpected. Uh, I might not have put my best foot forward, you know? And so I feel like, well, I, I, I've not really met anyone since mm -hmm. who, uh, I've really okay look so maybe this isn't his first time being on camera and him talking on, on like a, a public pa a platform like this so i'll give him a break okay but like he's talking very slowly and is not getting to the point but okay to get to know like that because uh, a lot of women they, they might have seen the video or might have heard from it or maybe a friend of them is, has seen the video and mm -hmm. shares it with them mm -hmm. and so they kind of had this image of me based on the video absolutely and it hasn't really helped I'm assuming that like this guy got got like a bunch of hate on like his TikTok or like or like uh, whatever account that he uses on social media. Yeah, yeah. So basically, he got like a bunch of women hating on him, and uh, I, and like uh, that's what like I'm assuming. Yeah, but like he is kind of right that like uh, people don't look a deeper into things. They just see like a short clip of you and they want to use that, and then like uh, they already think that like they know everything about you just based off that one small clip of you, which is stupid. He's right. So whatever. Okay. Exactly. It's like they they might think everything about me yeah. is reflected in that video. Absolutely, Abs I, uh, absolutely. Now, the thing about that is though, is that those are women who probably follow her and or have the same beliefs as this woman, as this demon, as this succubus that's sitting right next to him. So clearly they're unintelligent, just like the woman that's sitting right next to you. I'm just saying. It is, and, uh, but yeah, it's, it's been difficult. Sure, sure, sure. Well, and it's even before this, you know, dating has already been difficult for me. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I could definitely tell just like uh, based off the first video, I could definitely tell that you have a problem with dating. Absolutely. 100%. I believe you. you know, I imagine your views kind of clash with what you're looking for and what they're looking for. Y yeah, I think so. Because I already know everything that he's about to say, okay? Because like we probably share the same exact beliefs, but whatever. Uh, I mean, I think, in general, my values kind of reflect wanting to build something that lasts. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And I want to make sure that anyone that I meet is willing to build a really strong foundation uh, based on our mutual values. Mm -hmm. And I think, it, it, in general, a lot of the people that I meet uh, Either they don't have time to set, set towards building something like that, or they just don't want to because mm -hmm. 
you know. Well, uh, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even gonna make fun of him in this video. I'm not even gonna make fun of him. Younger, they want to experience, you know, ca casual dating or whatever it is, and, and it's just not something that I'm looking for right now. Understood. Understood. So. Obviously, guys, Jay's saying that they have a negative view on him in a negative light when it comes to dating. When I saw Jay, I saw someone who was making some excellent points, who knew what he want. And he's actually now like a Giga Chad in the uh, Manosphere world, in the Red Pill community. The I'm really contemplating uh, turning this video off because he really unironically said that he's a that this this man with this type of body language is a giga chad well, bro i'm gonna give you one more fucking chance i'm gonna give you one more damn chance you got one more chance brothers being mentioned everywhere for the way he handled that conversation shut up um now i'm gonna ask alicia as well because during during this conversation alicia and, and then like this man wants to correct him on that's not a strike but okay Thank we'll you. get that right mm -hmm. okay so Alicia mm -hmm. you didn't seem to really disagree with what he was saying now you had a, a, a definitely a different opinion before he gave you his his, his mind right but right. you seem very receptive to it can you explain to me kind of what you were thinking and how you saw him in that video because he's saying they got it they took him in a negative light what, what do you think well Yes, I, I think once we had the conversation, I could see my role mm -hmm. in the conflict. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, let's back up a little bit. To be fair, I mean, I was always raised that the man is supposed to cater to you. I mean, you're courting me, so court me. Mm -hmm. That means where nothing changed about her. Absolutely nothing has this this whole experience of her going viral for being an entitled bit didn't change her whatsoever. This is not gonna change her at all. She still has the same beliefs of like the first video or something. Like she has the same exact beliefs. It, it's just like clearly she's taking advantage of this guy because clearly he's just a weaker specimen. I'm uh, I'm just saying. Whatever I want to go, you take me. Absolutely. Whatever I want, you buy me. That's courting. You know. I'm looking for a provider. So. And then, like, you want to use these terms that, like, like, why are people in the real world using these terms from, like, the red pill space on the internet, bro? Honest. Like, if I ever hurt here, a real woman in like in like in like in fucking person ever, ever say some shit like that to me, regurgitate the shit that like they heard from the internet, I'm leaving. I'm gonna walk out. I'm not gonna say a single word to you ever again in your life. Don't talk to me ever again if you just unironically are using these uh, internet terms in real life. But after the conversation, I could see how there was a lot of I okay. in, 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 in that exchange. Um, I, it was, uh, I was definitely very self-centered and I can appreciate if I do want someone to provide for me, I, I at least I'll be a little bit nice. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Okay, great. So okay, well, she said like a little bit nice, and like she, and like she was smiling about it. So that's a lie, and uh, I believe that all women are liars. So I don't believe a single fucking word she's saying. Now I ask you this, based based on your idea of dating before your conversation with Jay, how did you grow up? Who who also thinks that way? I'm sure you have friends who think that way. I, I've heard it a lot. I okay, mean, so. everybody. I mean. That's what the main yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, so like uh, every guy in, in her life was uh, bending the knee to her and bending over backwards just for her and uh, She's not even a five She she's like a three I'm done with this video like oh like oh why is a three talking like she's a ten or something bro I'm sick and tired of this shit and like this dude like just the way that like his body language and like just the way that like he's sitting down like in his chair like it like it's just like dude he's just like just hunched over like this like like, dude, the fuck are you doing? Your shoulders back, chest out, fucking spit, you know, fucking talk like you're the man or something. The fuck is the shit? Uh, that's why you got taken advantage of here. I'm fucking done here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.